Ashton said to me. Okay, so my future career has to do with high school sports. Uh, plan on coaching and understand the importance of high school sports is something that helped me throughout my life. Uh, it's changed many others' lives, and I just think it's great. Um, growing up where I did, <coughs> I could have been doing many other things other than uh, playing the sports I did. I grew up playing baseball and football, and uh, many of the things that I learned from football, uh, I still use to this very day. Um, it gave me a sense of pride, it gave me a sense of community, it gave me a sense of uh, just learning how to be fit and how to practice correct fitness and be healthy. And uh, it also kept my grades up. Uh, when I was, I grew up in an area where a lot of the kids, you know, I wouldn't call it, it's the polar opposite of a ghetto. It's the extreme backwoods. And it's not the good kind of backwoods, it's the kind of backwoods that uh, uh, meth lab gets busted every Friday night or something like that. <laughs> so I was around a lot of poverty, uh, around a lot of rough old kids. But uh, my friendship circle changed when I got older. Uh, I started meshing with the kids that I played ball with because I was with them eight to nine, ten hours a day. Uh, these guys right here, here's me. These are my best friends to this very day. Uh, this guy right here plays Rico U. He's my best friend, my brother. Uh, and if I wasn't involved with football, I would have never, probably never met these guys. Um, so, knowing the impact of high school sports goes into, you know, seeing these kids that come from extreme poverty, seeing these kids that what some people would call the inner city or uh, extremely rural areas that are ate up with drugs and things like that and crime. Uh, this is an escape out when they can be doing all kinds of other things. They're doing something that's providing for their future. Uh, one of the most, I'm going to start off by talking about community. Uh, community is something that's very big in high school sports especially football, um, there was nothing like on Friday nights getting to run out and bear that name across your chest a storm where you grew up. Um, looking up in the stands, seeing your brother, sister, uh, best friend, aunt, uncle, grandfather, mother especially, uh, was something that was very dear to me. You know, I was fortunate enough to play college athletics, but it didn't compare to what I experienced on Friday night, having my family and my friends there to support me. Um, and knowing that what I was doing was for them, that the support and love they showed me every day was for them. And getting to run out and be a part of something that was truly bigger than myself was something that made me fall in love with it. Um, oh, according to a study by Unigo, which is a organization that studies statistics on uh, high school kids and just things they do. Uh, students who participate uh, in high school extracurricular activities and sports uh, learn the meaning of community, pride, and fun team rivalries. Some of the best memories I have were from those fun team rivalries in high school. Uh, learning and being being able to be proud of something, being able to be proud to when I get done with uh, college and everything and go back to my hometown, I have something to be proud of. And, uh, and this is what, this is important to a lot of people because a lot of people come from nothing, come from areas where this is all they have, you know. and. Uh, like I said, they can be out doing anything else. I can name countless things I've seen. I've had friends arrested. I've had that had so much potential. And if they had just stayed and played ball, they wouldn't find a way out. Um, another thing it taught me was fitness. Uh, 
waking up every morning at 6 a.m. doing weights, uh, learning how to weight lift and condition and uh, take care of myself was something that I still do to this very day. Uh, started doing it when I was a freshman in high school and it stuck. And I think for people to learn that, you know, you don't want to be the guy that goes in the gym and makes everybody angry because you obviously don't know what you're doing, you know. So it's, it teaches you, that's a very good skill to have. Uh, it's an escape, it's a relief. And uh, being able to be taught that uh, through high school sports was something that's very important and I'll carry that with me for as long as I can lift the weight. So uh, it says the National Federation of State High School Associations conducted a study in 2006 that when athletes are given the opportunity to uh, be a part of extracurricular activities, that they are significantly higher to have a lower BMI, uh, which is, I mean, that's common sense because you're doing something. You know, you're going out and doing something that's going to better yourself instead of going home and eating Twinkies and playing video games. So uh, that's something I learned from that and it's really helped me out and I still, still use it. The last thing, which I believe is the most important, was the improved academics. I have a very old fashioned coach, uh, the top that preach grades, grades, grades. And I always knew it was important, but uh, I always tended to keep it up. But I had a bunch of friends who thought when they were little, you know, we all dreamed about being LeBron or Tom Brady. Well, when you get to high school and you're five foot 10, you kind of realize you're not LeBron or Tom Brady. So uh, you have to find other ways to play for college <laughs> other than playing ball. Uh, and a lot of them realize that a little too late but some of them, you know, realized it early and found other ways when we were trying to get scholarships, when we were applying for scholarships. They were thanking my coach because keeping that 3.5 GPA up, you know, or else you were disciplined. You know, keeping that up, we were applying for scholarships and getting, you know, we didn't have to bank an athletic scholarship. We found other ways to get to college. So. That was something else that I'm very grateful for. You know, I'm very grateful for having somebody who, you know, was like a dad to me that showed me the importance of these things. And all these things, community fitness and improved academics, they all mixed into my lifeblood and it's really helped me and will continue to help me to the day I die. So. All right. Um, I was just curious, where did you play high school football? I played high school football at Madison Central. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.